hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm showing you a rose design and it's also using stamping plates as well so here I'm just going in with my glam and glitz I think it's coffee something and this color is so lovely it's so dark and nice so it is a must-have so I'm just dragging it up the nail as always and just putting it on making sure all the nail is covered with my acrylic All the links will be in the description box for all the products shown and used in this video. As you can see it's got little bits of silver in as well which is really really pretty so next I'm going to go in and I'm going to do some stamping on it so I'm just using my clear jelly stamping plate I'll put the link in the description box my clear all my clear jelly stamping stuff so next I go in and I use my clear jelly stamping polish and it is a white and I just go over the writing because this is the only part of this plate that I do actually want So I'm just going to roll that onto the nail now. And luckily because I've got some left on my stamping, my stamper, <laughs> I've got the words in the end guys. I just put it on the tip. So next we're going to move all that out the way. We're going to top gloss it to seal it all in. And then we are going to make two 3D roses. So I'm using my Ink London 3D Moisture Brush. I'm using an old bit of form paper. I'm using my Glam and Glitz Glow. And my Nail Nails Mega White. So we're just gonna do double dipping on this one guys and we're just going to do two pretty roses. It's a really simple, easy design to do, and it looks like loads of work's gone into it. So here I'm just doing the middle of the rose, I'm just pulling it all down into like a sausage shape, but not too sausagey. Don't want it too thick. And then I'm going to roll it up so that is the middle of our rose. So there is the rose onto the nail. I used clear acrylic just to get that to sit on there. So next we're going to go in and we're going to do the petals. Now you just cut it like a knife. I mean, you cut it like it's a knife and then put it into a croissant shape. And then you just pat out the petals using the belly of your brush. You don't want the petals too thin, but you don't want the petals too thick. So I'll just sort of rub the brush underneath and just give it a wiggle to try and get the petal up and nine times out of ten this works because I don't want the petal 100% set because I actually want to do like bring the petals out a bit more to make them look more realistic. So we're going in and doing exactly the same again guys. So 
So I'm just patting the petal out again with the belly of my brush. You don't want to use the tip of your brush as the tip has got no strength in it whatsoever. That one was no good so I went in and done another petal. Also if you're not happy with how the petals turned out don't be afraid to just get rid of it and start again because you want to be 100% happy with your work. So again, slice it into a croissant shape and then pat it out with the belly of your brush. Remembering not to go too thin and not to go too thick. Then you let that set a little bit and then you just get your brush and you wiggle it underneath until that you can see the petals releasing and feel it. And then you just get the petal and you place it onto your middle of your flower. Making sure when you're going round the flower that you do it on the oh, the lap top, the lap bit. So where the joins are, you want to put your petal, your next petal in your next petal. So also you don't want to go too big either. You can go big if that's what you want or your client wants. But if you're just doing it normally, you just want a nice elegant little rose. So here we're going in again, doing exactly the same again, cutting it into a crescent shape. Then we're using the belly of our brush and patting it down into a petal shape. Letting it set for a few seconds and going in with your brush and wiggling it under it until you get the petal up. So guys, I'm going to let you watch this bit from here and I'll meet you back when we do the leaves.
Now that the two flowers are on the nail, we are going to proceed and do the leaves to the nail. So I'm using my CJP Lime Green and I'm also using my Mega White by Nail Nails again. So we're dipping, double dipping again. So we're getting that petal and we're going to pull it out straight away because you want to pull it out so it doesn't set because if you leave it for a bit you will not get that little point bit in it so then you just want to press down and just shape it as you're going along i think the leaves really add to your 3d design it just makes them come to life more So again we just want to press down making sure you've got that little tip bit at the end of the leaf just to give it more depth. So we're going to do two more leaves. <clears throat> so again here because I'm going over 3D work I'm using my brush on an angle slightly so it doesn't blend into the other leaves. Again, while the product is still wet, drag it to a tip and then shape that tip how you want it, how you know a leaf looks. Exactly the same again guys and just shape it and then you do your third leaf on an angle. so guys thank you so much for watching and don't forget don't let anybody dull your sparkle thank you for all your support guys and i'll see you in the next video bye